And the UK number one is Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour. Which is now officially the highest grossing concert film of all time. Filmed, as far as I understand, over three shows in Inglewood. And the the what happened was Taylor Swift was negotiating with the major studios about doing this. And the major studios were weren't playing ball or were procrastinating. So she ended up or well, her company ended up doing a deal directly with theatres, I think it was with AMC in America, to distribute direct to the theatres. This was kind of like an outside, this was like breaking all the rules. And it is now the biggest selling concert film of all time, which means that all those studios are probably, to quote um, uh, Rowan Atkinson, I bet you're all feeling like a right bunch of Charlies. <laughs> um, this is now going to be the new benchmark. Do you remember when... When was it Live Nation when Madonna signed to like suddenly it was when the big shift became that actually playing concerts was the thing that you mm. made money from and your album sales were saying not the other way around. So this feels on industrial because it's done so well, like a a sea change. So essentially the, the concert, it's ten acts, ten studio albums over what is it, best part of two decades, like 17 years. I think uh, this, it, there's, every, there's, there's costume changes, there's musical style changes, there's choreography, there's absolutely sweeping, insane camera work. There are banging tunes, some of which I know. Now, I, what I know about Taylor Swift wouldn't fill the back of a paste, postage stamp because I'm not you know, up with, with pop, but the actual cars carry on. Suddenly, suddenly a thing went off in my head and I immediately stopped talking. So the actual concert apparently was over three hours. The film is has, has got it down. They've, they, apparently, they've dropped some songs. They've tightened the transitions. It's now 169 minutes long. Here's what I can tell you from the perspective of somebody at whom this is not aimed. Yes. It's really slick. It looks like it, they were amazing concerts. The performances are just, I mean, you know when you see a show and you go, okay, yeah, that, like that's how you would do it. It's, there's so much. There is so much in there. And I was sitting there watching it thinking, you know, there is, I, I now kind of understand why it is that Taylor Swift fans, did they call them? Swifties. Swifties. Mm -hmm. Love her so much. Because you kind of go, yeah, this, this, it's, it's, it's the full on experience. And the, you remember when I was talking about dance craze? That dance craze basically kind of puts you on stage with the bands. Well, of course, dance craze is my music, so I that's the period that I live in. But this, you know, it's it is a cinematic whirlwind rush of an experience of a show that looks like it was extraordinary. The songs are catchy, the show is energetic, the atmosphere is triumphant. She's clearly a genius. I, I took Child 2 to see uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, in, in, the, fl in the flesh? Yeah. And how was it? it? About a decade ago. You right. Know, and, and more. And she, you could tell. She was just in a kind of coming out of country, right. becoming more mainstream, and she was an incredible performer. And it, everyone was screaming at her. Yeah. All the girls were screaming at her, you know. And it, it, and are you a fan? Yes. Yeah. I mean, but again, I'm not particular. I'm not waiting for the next release to drop. No. But here's Dr. Fiona Norton. Okay. She's got a few things to say. Long-term listener, half a Vanguard, Vanguard Easter. Me and my husband share a subscription. Is this okay? Repeat emergency mailer. I went to see Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour, in the delightful Lighthouse Cinema in Wellington, New Zealand, over the weekend. Excellent. Unfortunately, Taylor is not bringing her show to New Zealand, so the only way I would have gotten to see the show would have been to go to Australia, which is prohibitively expensive for many people. Yeah, I don't think she brought it to Cornwall either. Seeing the show in the cinema was the next best thing and it was a great show and a go. good time was had by all. As a loud and proud feminist, it was an amazing experience to see a woman almost exactly the same age as me, absolutely at the top of her game, living her best life and empowered to put on the show that she wanted to. Yeah. I have a question about filmmaking and distribution that I hope Mark can answer. Okay. I've heard that this film was made and distributed by Taylor's company exclusively and that this has caused something of a ruckus in the industry. How much truth is there to this? Is what she she has done that revolutionary, up with Maori representation in Parliament, down with uninspiring white men called Chris. As, Sincerely as, yours, Fiona, colonial commoner, PhD in analytical chemistry, top 1% of listeners to Taylor Swift on Spotify 2022. As far as I understand the story, and bear in mind I'm not an industry insider, I know, what I know about the story is what I read from Screen International and Variety. Yes, they were, the negotiations were with the major studios, they were stalling, they weren't happening, so her company just went directly to, and I believe it's AMC Theatres, and they did the... And it, and, and it broke the mould because it shouldn't have worked, but it did. And it just felt like one of those moments in which everybody will now look back at 
it and go, well, that happened. And, and as I said, the studios that, that weren't playing ball ended up with egg on face. No, we don't want to sign the Beatles. <laughs> no, exactly. It all, was... <laughs> all, that, all that kind of stuff. Harry Potter, that's not going to catch it's on. It's going to work, no, is no, it? No, pass on that one. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.